Urban Angling, and today I am on my way to one of my favorite rivers to fish, one of my favorite spots to fish, and we are gonna get after it for some more smallmouth bass. I got my new kayak. I just finished filming the kayak review, so that should be coming out real, real soon, so be on the lookout for that. But today, we are on the way to the river, and like I said, we we're doing some smallmouth fishing. So I'm gonna be throwing a little bit of different lures than I did in my last video. I'm not gonna be throwing the sleeper at all today. I'm gonna be trying some Ned Rick stuff, trying some bigger jig stuff, trying some more jerk baits, just trying to get better at throwing these other lures because even though I know the sleeper's going to get bit, I just want to try to use some other stuff, try to catch fish on some different things. Not only, not only for me, but for you guys too. Keep it entertaining, keep it fresh, you know? So I don't got much else to say. I'm really excited. I'm on my way to the river, so I'll see you guys when I'm there and on the water. All right, folks. We're on the water, just like I said we'd be. Tying up a little TRD tickler on a finesse bullet hook. You know what I mean? We're doing our absolute thing. So this is gonna represent a little crawfish, a little minnow, a little anything. And it's gonna represent a little bag for Nick today. So, TRD ticklers, go use them. If you don't know what they are, folks, learn what they are, because they're good. Got bit. It's a nice one. Let's go, folks. Get him in that net. On the TRD tickler. Look at that little football. Look at the dude. <laughs> It's literally a football. Let me put my rod over here to the side. All right, but you see how that little TRD crawl hooked him right in the side of the lip? The hook came right out and penetrated and we got ourselves a little, literally a freaking 14 inch. Look at his stomach. He smoked the tickler. I felt that little bite and I knew. Look at that little football, huh? Little bronzy. I mean, look at his gut. He literally is just straight up gut, like, little chunky man his tail's a little worn out too all right well we'll take that first fish of the day a little chungus smallmouth that thing is absolutely obese toss him back best part about this little tickler is all i got to do is just whoosh, slide it right back up Got one. Heck yeah. I don't think he's huge. He's fighting good though. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, okay. He's not giant, but he's chunk. He's just chunky. Get him in the net. Fish number two. Back to back, baby. Back to back, baby. This one's a little chunkier. This one's a little chunkier. Just bigger in all aspects. He's not he's not fatter, but he's a little longer. 15 and a half incher all day. So this is the TRD tickler on the finesse bullet hook. And look at that. It's gonna get it done every single time. It looks like a crawfish on the bottom, it looks like a minnow on the bottom, it looks like food, and it hooks them perfectly and comes out easy. And you get chunky, chungus smallmouths like this all day long they're gonna be on fire man it's 70 degrees out here in illinois in mid-march let's keep catching fish like this dude and i'll have a good day love the way these things fight man thank god spring is here just toss him back
Boom. Boom. Another football smallmouth. Heck yeah, folks. We're catching smallmouth bass. You can't be mad at a smallmouth bass. You know? Just toss him back. I'll show you guys what I switched to earlier. I think I showed you. Hopefully I edited this right. I showed you guys the TRD Tickler. Now I'm using the TRD Crawl. The TRD Crawl. And we're about to cast that right back towards that direction. Oh my god. Bro, what the f is that? It's a fing pike. Holy crap. Get in that net. Do you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. My pole almost just got taken from me from this thing, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? You chunky little SO. Oh, don't cheer it. This little pike just ate the TRD craw, man. Come here, bud. It's not a bad pike either. I was like, oh my god. Something just took my freaking rod. Look at that. I haven't seen one of you in a little bit. A little pike just ate the TRD craw. I'm literally like, I leave my rod in the water for a second and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep moving down chunky little SOB of a pike comes in and hits that crawl. He's never been caught before. He's got perfect jaw plates, perfect everything. And let's keep him that way. Let's release him and keep him healthy, but the little pike. All right, guys, I don't know how well that video clip is going to turn out. My camera, I, when I grab my camera, it seems like it was at a high angle, but we got ourselves a chunky little pike on the TRD crawl. Dude, that was insane. Like, I'm, I was literally, like, just chilling, going to paddle, and my rod just got yoinked. Set the hook. We got this little chunky pike. I'll take that all day long. Honestly, it just keeps me hype. Keeps me going. And it's a pike. Like, I haven't seen one of you in a while. And in this spot, I usually get bit off by these guys while I'm small off fishing, so it's nice to finally catch one. Let's get that release. Peace out, homie. Go. Oh, yep, there he goes. Just as I was about to see, go be a menace. To, go be a menace to somebody else. He was like, "Nope, I'll be a menace to you one last time." Bye, bye. All right, guys. Well, that was really hectic. I just relooked at the clip, and it looks like it came out good. So I think it's gonna be in the video. But I was not ready for that. I literally, like, I know this little cove that I'm fishing as pike. You know, sometimes I pike fish it. I'll get a few, but it's like. I'm just smallmouth fishing with a little TRD crawl. I let my rod sit and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start paddling. And then all of a sudden my rod just gets yoinked in the water. That was pretty dope though. Pretty quality little pike. He was, you know, short but fat. Love to see it. Let's get some more fish. There's a fish. Oh, you jumped. First jumper of the year. Should we do the first flip of the year too? She. Okay. Little chunky man. Little chunky man. Ate the TRD crawl. Huh? We'll take those. Huh? We'll take that jump in slow mo. Huh? Not much else to say about that little tank. Let's toss him right back in the river and get another one. Cause oh, that was some fun.
He ate it on the drag. Chunky little bass. <sighs> Jesus. There we go. First of all, what an absolute football. The shoulders on this fish, he's soft. He's just absolutely built out. They love it when it's just sitting on the bottom dragging real slow. That's when I've gotten a lot of my fish. I was just dragging that, and then my rod tip kind of started bouncing, and then I lifted it in, and I just felt him tugging, and I caught him. It's pretty sick. You can't be mad at these fish. guys that's gonna do it for me today i really hope you enjoyed this video as always i enjoyed filming it got myself a little multi-species bag out there on the river smallmouth pike carp can't complain about that i don't know if i put the carp in the video but i actually did get a carp in the mouth on the netter rig so that was pretty cool too i thought i had a six pound smallmouth but it wasn't you know how that goes whatever anyways I am just so glad spring's here. I am so glad that fish are finally biting and you can finally go out there and get yourself a quick 10 bag, 20 bag, 30 bag, 40 bag, you know. It is not the days of February anymore. We are in March, it is 70 degrees out here. I can't believe it, you know what I mean? The videos that we're about to be pumping out and the quality of the stuff that I'm about to be pumping out is about to get better and better. And I really, really hope you guys, you know, notice that and appreciate that. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe because we recently just had 2,000 subscribers and you know, that stuff can't happen without more of you guys subscribing to this channel, obviously, you know. My videos get put in the algorithm when I get more subscribers, when I get more likes, when I get more comments, and that gets me more views, and then obviously that helps me, right? So I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you clicked on this video and you made it this far in the video, thank you. Anyway, I don't wanna ramble on too much. I got some more fishing to do, so I hope, this, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.